G'day, g'day, welcome to Farmland. We've got a 1v1 Valkyrie game again, going to Group B once again to see the conclusion between Flapperjack and Nat Nat. Both from UK, Flapperjack did tear up Nat Nat's bumhole in the last game. <laughs> and uh, we'll see him now. He's gonna try to fight for his life to stay in, to get into bracket stages. I think he needs to win this because otherwise he'll be up for a hard task to beat Pringles in two games to get out of this. Got Nat Nat with a Elite Marksman, second best, uh, or you can say the best Elite Marksman in the game, depending on the ranges. I think USA are better in longer ranges, and he's going to face up Flapperjack. He's playing as UK. Assault Squad with the Imgrenade Launcher knocks out one of the Elite Marksmen, and a few veteran riflemen with the Delisle Carbine in the background. Nat Nat coming with a grenade. This guy has lost his weapon. He's just going to still charge. I'm just actually running back. He's going to run away back without his weapon and heal up. And it'll probably be used as some suicidal grenade in the future. That, that now going to oh nasty grenade of Flapperjack doing very well so far with the micro, the Sommy SMG panning. Um, looks like the Ian grenade launcher has taken, or well, sorry, the elite marksmen have taken out the other troops, and the baby ha babies are crying for these units right now. UK has been smashed on the western side by the elite marksman combo and SMG. Center Nat Nat uh, can cap if he likes. Whilst on the sub, or oh, well, on the eastern point now, Flapperjack's got the militia squad as the second buy. Second buy from Nat Nat is also a militia kind reservist for the finish. And we'll go to the right, I think. Or we'll straight down the center to cover both, perhaps just in between here. So it's going to let Flapperjack take the eastern point without any opposition. And now that's just going to be the line drawn for now, as there's nothing that the either team can do about both sides. <laughs> They've got majority of infantry on their own sides right now, so playing a bit of a horizontal horizontal game. But this may allow Flapperjack to get a bit of infiltration in the greenhouse area and push up to the stone wall and perhaps take the center of the Axis side. But he's going to come walk away through the greenhouse to assault the center. Very safe option, there isn't much that can, these guys can do over here, shooting this way. He's going to face off just a few reservist troops. Nat Nat going to punish him as he walks the greenhouse road. Oh, nasty grenade that was. That finished 80 grenade, very nice HE explosion, but is a timed 80 grenade as you probably, probably know by now. The grenade launcher, assault squad from Flapperjack, now coming straight down the center. Of the assault squad still in the greenhouse can be grenaded. Now responding here, we've got an assault squad from Nat Nat. Flapper Jack now capping the center. Four to zero, early lead from Nat Nat so far. Isle of one. And then duck down. Now going to try and play the shootout versus the assault squad of the UK kind. They've got the cover now. Oh, nice e grenade rifle takes that one. The Swedish volunteers there with the Sumi K, K uh, Sumi bipod. There are rifles in the mix of these assault squads. It's a better than half of Gonna be a bit of trouble for Mr. Nat Nat in the shootout, but I think the numbers are way in the favor of the Finnish troops and especially in the ranges of the best SMG in the game, I think. Flapperjack still holds on though, just capping behind the cover, behind the greenhouse, greenhouses and that house. And here is a 37 mil 80 buffers out from Mr. It's an at that. As, uh, yes. See, I'm gonna come out very, that's very early for buffers. That's just a 80 weapon, it's not like an infantry killer. So let's have a look at this. We've got the Olicon out from Flapperjack, going to the roadway. Then an assault uh, Blackwatch out from Flapperjack, a bit late on the timers. So it's gonna go to the right of the roadway, perhaps hold the eastern point. Center Nat Nat still punishing him, or still uh, pressuring him in the center with a few grenades. He holds strong though with this uh, stone wall. Flapperjack's troops are actually hiding behind, just capping with the sneak action. Nat Nat now, gonna rat him up perhaps. Sorry, 80 grenade. Oh wow, nice grenade rifle, but the grenade has been let off. Building on the side has been perished, but never mind. The Flapperjack's SMG guy still goes back in and starts capping it once again. So where is that Olicon going? It's going to be, I suppose, the deciding weapon right now in this battle. Nat Nat hasn't got anything right now, so the buff is to kill it. And it's obscured by the greenhouse, so it's protected, it's fine. 
and it's going to do some good jobs right now to now that all the Finnish troops are scared and are pinning pin down ducking behind the stone wall scared of turning on that now and I'm thinking of a counter pass moving the AT gun to face up with the HE sorry it's got the HE shell loaded very efficient by that now Blackwatch coming in as well but now forced to run away Olicon is also running away if the object notices the 20 the 37 mil AT buffers and very smartly hurries away down the roadway this one guy pushing such a big weapon must be quite strong infantry bias from both players what do we have here salt squad going to the west it looks like i may try push on the western point that that caps the center in the meantime as uh that's reserve a squad going to try and make a move on this point which is going to be quite hard to take Militiaman plus change, I believe in the Blackwatch Lewis gun, so that they're gonna definitely struggle. These guys over here will struggle as well. Elite marksmen in the mix, I believe, still. Yeah, a few elite marksmen can quite easily come down, so both sides not doing not gonna do too well, I think. And they can probably evade that all icon right here and protect the flag if he wishes. Oh <laughs> very nice EM grenade rifle kill. Takes out three. So I may actually maybe have a chance again at this point. But let's see how this Bofors goes. That, that moving to the center has a shot on this Olicon if you can spot it. Don't know if he has sight on it. Probably doesn't. Looks like he doesn't. As uh, the assault squad from Flapjack coming in. Elite marksman from Nat Nat. Now running away back to the stone wall here. Bofors now waiting. Now Bofors is going to now try get that 20 mil. Misses first shot. Flapjack is still an Oh, he escapes with the skin of his teeth. That, that misses two shots. Very unlucky from Fortnite from that, as that's quite an accurate AD gun. Here comes uh, that Nat Nat AD grenade. Hits the roof. Oh, I thought that uh, roof will crush that guy, perhaps. Oh, perhaps this is maybe a nicely cooked throw. Let's see. Oh, Nat Nat did cook it quite well. It explodes just before it, but doesn't actually destroy it or even damage it. And returns a favor, perhaps. Nope. Oh no. Reservist. Oh, <laughs> takes, takes him out and uh, apologies for the background music. We've got uh, some guests, I think, that I didn't know were coming. Uh, Burfers. Crusader 76 QF3 pounding on the ride for some reason. Pounded at nothing. Oh, that, that's definitely going to be scared to come out. Perhaps he may. It's pretty close. Comes out, just takes one shot. 80. Oh, he's got the AT round loader too. He's pre always prepared for the situation, it seems. Boom! ICS Crusader 76 mil has n had no had no call to be here. It was a SPG gun. Could have snuck behind that hill and would have been harder to hit. But uh, was cocky and got shot. White death, I think. Oh, no, scoped ac no scoping action right now. Decent position. I guess the regular sniper hill. Got the militiamen coming in to assault the western side. Eastern side. That Nat's reservist. Uh, so yep. As expected, not making a move or cannot make a move. All Econ has been taken out by the Bofors right there. And that, that is looking strong right now in this game. It's 19 to 3 in flag points and kill wise obliterating Flapperjack so far. Uh, pretty much three times the amount of kills to Flapperjack coming to the Crusader AA. Ooh, White Death, this is a good good uh, tank to have White Death against us. As a matter of that, his HP. The rapid fire of the crew AA will uh, negate that. Uh, Buffer is now coming to the right. Let be shell ready to shoot just in range. Oh, crew AA is going to try to decrew it. Misses two shots and has been decrewed. 450 MP, a decent MP up his belt too, so. You can quite easily buy a tank after this. The options are hmm, probably you could go T 34s versus UK. Hmm. Hmm. UK, yeah. UK will struggle versus that until they get to the bigger guns, in my opinion. T 34 angled armor. German guns are okay versus the T 34 angled. Even get a J. I like the J, in my opinion. It'd be uh, quite useful throughout the game take out any UK tanks in my opinion and here it goes the J be, will be obsolete once it takes the crew AA it should be able to fight out any tanks the UK can field um, even the Comet you may stand a little chance going to the right Flapperjack uh, 
Well, I'm not moving into the western point bit yet, but let's see this Crusader AA. J, unable to take a shot, Crusader AA has reversed back into the riverway. Such a low profile, its tank is obscured now. Flapper Jack now making move, White Death now seeing some more action. The fast fire rate, both of us <laughs> scoring so far. Yeah, let's see, White Death, uh, hold, hold his flag on his own, let's see if we can do that. Has a few guys in support. Boom! He's gonna make a big impact in holding this flag most definitely, and he has indeed. Bit by bit, this guy's gonna come in. But I think that, that will hold that just on the back of Simu Haya. Mm, not too special. Mm. Got some sort of dress on. Doesn't have his name. He can't, uh, well, wow. Well, just guy hasn't put names on any of the infantry of the new nations, it seems. Let's call uh, the French troops Croissant and the Hungarian troops Goulash. I don't know, I'm just going to take a guess here. I'm not sure what the Finland uh, food is like, but I'm going to say raw salmon. So <laughs> The frozen lakes there, there's probably a lot of fishing going on and a lot of raw eating. I think, uh, I don't know why I picture that, but probably raw, raw salmon. So, Mr. Raw Salmon here. Flapper Jack, uh, half track coming in. He's got the three pointer out. This is the Royal Commandos, I believe. And yeah, charging in straight to the point, so straight to the stone wall. And perhaps even try. Oh, it's going to make a move. It's going to make a move. 80 grenade. Boom! Takes out the bovers. And even White Death is susceptible. It's running. He's running with his life. Oh, if he had a gun instead. Look at this. This is hilarious. Oh, point blank shot misses. 80 grenade misses. It's in jeopardy. White Death. It's in jeopardy. It has been taken out by the M. 55A1 half track. But the J has destroyed the half track. But wow. <laughs> It's like running around a table and you're young, you go the other way. And you, yeah, you get to a certain point when you get in the center and you're there and you just uh, have a bit of confusion on where to go. And he went the wrong way, walked around and get shot, got shot up by these awaiting commandos at the Valhal and Sten SMGs. Fortunately, White Death. It was not like the real life Asimahaya. And he took out like four or five guys in this game. Did not live up to his name. Reserve us. Uh, not much else to, well, Flapjack has totally turned this around. <laughs> Look at that, but the Tawny squad I think is out. It's got a few snipers in here, yep, MG snipers, you can tell it's a Tawny squad. He's just bought the Tawny detachment, comes with snipers, machine gunners, very elite here. So lots of white there, I think it's not the end, of, not the end of the Finnish forces at this stage. The uh, Tawny guy is struggling to get a good Aim shot on the commandos. Three Cappy Cap is on. Crusader ICS has been repaired. Panzer J. Now moving to the right. Now take finished the Crusader ICS once and four perhaps. Snapper. Attachment sniper. What if these guys can pick up the white death gun? I don't know. No scopes, yeah, it's right there. I wonder. Can he do that? Let me know, guys. That's a yep, very creative uh, or trolley Jutska descriptions. That, that, that is holding with just the commando still. Half track uh, 50 cal has been taken out. Don't know who's got it. Ooh, let's see how this goes. If the 50 cal has been picked up, this flamethrower will be in trouble once it gets the range. 20 squad now moving in with full weight. OT 130, gonna play it safe, it seems. Hiding a bit back. No, going in. Maybe this guy's got the 50 cal, perhaps. No, he's got the Bren. This guy. Bren, both of the Bren. These guys don't have an anti rifle. One MG down. But they're playing safe as as he should right now, actually. Oh, he stops the three cap. 21 to 25 contains the lead. 
Oh, contains this, this um, I guess contains his lead. And uh, Crusader A8. <laughs> no go. Perhaps get the, get the roof is try. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Shoot the roof and make, hopefully the whole thing will collapse. Or maybe the fire will collapse it. I don't know. But let's see the tawny guy. Perhaps he may uh, get us a nice sneak action on this. Crew A is falling back. I guess uh, Flappy Deck does know he's quite sparse on MG in this area. So he's a little bit in danger. And I like this flanking shot here by these tawny soldiers. That sounds very beasty, but I believe this this gun is quite shit. <laughs> Let me know, uh, guys, if that MG is any good or not. Sounds like a... yeah, I think it's quite fast. It's got a slow clip, so it's not very good in terms of the uh, amount of damage it can do per second. Flap a Jack Crusader AA coming in. 20 guys hiding behind the building. Panzer J. <laughs> now we're going to try to take a shot. Can probably take a shot through here. Ooh. Crew AA. Panzer J. Boom. Nothing. Hey, Commander. So 3125 Flapperjack is in the lead so far. Oh, I'm not sure what Nat Nat I guess can come in the center. Yeah, that center is very weak. The left's actually quite weak too. Probably split up a sniper. Come one sniper on the hill here. Just slowly whittle away the forces there. And center can just be just grenaded um, if he has the micro Flapperjack. Uh, moving away, I think Nat Nat's focusing on the crew AA 20 mil. But now I think. Uh, it's going to get out of there and they're going to try to take a sneaky shot before it escapes. Side shot? No, it doesn't probably see it. Probably doesn't see it, I mean. Panzer Shrek from the Tawny guy. Rastanek. I wonder how you say it, Tawny. Tawny, Tawny guy. Because I hear them say Tawny when you move them. So perhaps that's how you say it, the Tawny squad. Tawny, Tawny squad. We know Mr. Actius. <laughs> Stuff like that, Comet. This is what we expected, I guess, from the UK team, but... Ooh, Panzer Shrek! Panzer Shrek! Oh, MG's got caught napping! Oh, lucky. That was lucky, man. That was very, very lucky for Flapper Jack. Brand decides to stop leaning against the wall. Point blank kill. Comet now. With that very classic UK turret move. Very futuristic sound. Crew A now is uh, very confident that it's got its big brother to help him out on the field. Panzer J just going probably for a sneaky shot in the AA though. Ooh, no. Nah. That's uh, wishful thinking. The greenhouse absorbs the shot. Doesn't even go through the greenhouse. Flapper Jack Comet now it's coming at the plate. Bounces on the side of the turret. I believe this uh, Panzer J does have the AT armor. Just a very slow turret because it is uh, hand cranked. Playing safe. Really quite sparse in infantry on the left side, Mr. Flapperjack. In general as well, I guess, on all maps. On this side, it's got some militia. Nothing of weight. Oh, no, sorry. That's of weight. <laughs> Crew AA is holding that flag. Comet coming to the roadway as well. Interesting. No one uh, risking their big units at the moment. Just playing a little micro action on the center. That, that's uh, capping it. I must say, Flapperjack is, uh, is looking strong in this tournament so far. Definitely one of the underdogs, and no one expected him to do so well. Beating Pringles, drawing with Godwin, well, Godwin's another one no one expected to do so well. So Godwin and Flapperjack are actually punching above their weight. Godwin's like this flabby old man. <laughs> he used to be good, but somehow, suddenly, uh, yeah, just uses his weight to his own advantage. Knocked out, uh, knocked out uh, not, not in the game. And also Flapperjack, Flapperjack coming in, knocking out Natna in the first game, looking so strong with the look at that Lati SMG, it's actually looking much better than a brand of what it just did just then. Panzer J now coming in to shoo away the crew A, now Comet's coming in to shoo away the J, let's see how this shot goes. Comet has a few greenhouses to contend with, no, doesn't want to take a shot now, reversing back into the workshop. So still playing the safe game. 
of Grenade Cappy Cappy in the center. Also here's some interesting little infiltration happening. Got a few militia guys. Oh, Flapperjack right here so close. They're not going to trick. None of them actually shoot. Oh, there they are. This guy's just pinned down. So I has got the PPS H, PPS, PPS? Yeah, the PPS 43. Flapperjack now capping with the weight. That's some decent Finnish forces over here. The K Jaegers with the Lati Soloranta. Single infantry. It looks like the veteran riflemen got the AVS, AVS 36. Yep, veteran riflemen. Decent units. Not going to come try shoot out, but not, probably not the best option right now because they're all icons down the center. Sorry, I missed that uh, crew AA dying, but nevertheless, the only kind of stuck in its place to do exactly the same job. 41-25. That, that really needs to win this to have any sort of chance. Because he has to beat Pringles. Like, I think uh, Godwin's got uh, one point from Flapperjack. Oh, I can't remember, to be honest. I'm not, not, not sure. But Flapperjack has three points already. From Pringles, one point from Godwin, and one point. So Flapperjack's through. I think Flapperjack's bloody through because Pringles drawed. Uh, lost zero points. I think he drawed with uh, someone else. Maybe not. Sorry, guys. I uh, <laughs> haven't been keeping up to speed with my games. Better on Rifleman. <laughs> Wow, they're doing a lot, a lot better than I thought versus these numbers, but yeah, there's just too many guys to shoot at, especially for a rifle. From the veteran MG. All gone now. Moving to the center. That now, now, now capping with the weight of the cap with the Kukapakyo. <laughs> All Econ did the him a favor. Militiaman has been killed. So he holds on to the cap. Comet made Oh, what's that? What was that? He's got the artillery, 76mm artillery, takes out the Olicon. Comet uh, can possibly get a shot off it because it's a pretty straight non elevation area. Officer out from Nat Nat. So it's got uh, 90, 95 CP on the field, so minus 20, it probably has about one, yeah, 115 on the field. Making very good efficient use of his available CP. No deciding engagement yet from the Comet and the J. So pretty interesting that the J can can do that. That's an interesting smoke right here. Don't know what that is from. Oh, look at that top left. It's just a lot of uh, UK troops dying. Artillery plus the Sony and the AVS 36. Now that may turn the tides. 23 minutes in, 27 to 46. Now that's holding the lead and now is pounding with the artillery on the eastern point. And he perhaps can now make a move on it. Right side half track from Flapperjack. Ooh, can clean up perhaps. Oh, o OT is interesting. This OT's been here forever. I forgot about that unit. <laughs> Taking that though, but uh, finally I think I've been that remembered about it. Ooh, we're going to watch out here. Uh, oh no, it's gonna get there. 50 cows not taken, so oh no, oh, oh nice. Piet has taken that out. Korea now coming in. Interesting play though, because he just got killed by a J. He knows it's there, so he probably shouldn't come down this way. Uh, I think he does remember now. <laughs> He's moving it back. Half track finished. I think it was a collateral damage. That's trying to take out the AA. Comet now going for a shot, perhaps. That now they're waiting. Oh, Panzer Shrek, but uh, no, is he knew that. Oh, trying to bazooka that SMG for two that just came to protect. Spoiled his plans indeed. Crew AA. Oh, Crew AA's a target now. Oh, it's taken out before the shot could be laid. Panzer J. On hold fire. Has to be DC from that net, though. Doesn't want that to change shells or change its turret to move it. And now it's ready for that, that's action. His action is the crew AA. It doesn't uh, get the shot off. Now it has revealed himself and the AA now is reversing to safety. 
Comet now coming. Artillery pounding away. Comet. Have a shot off that J, perhaps. What's the range on it? Oh, fairly far, very far away. 76. I wonder if 76 can get a nice track on these units or tanks. Cray now coming out with the Comet. Lots of uh, QK troops. Ooh, <laughs> protection action there. Jay is moving away scared. Kurahe is also moving away scared. Mortar in the meantime is doing some damage. And now uh, Applejack's infantry now is going to move in. But they're going to struggle. Got lots of uh, MGs waiting from the side to flank. Though there is enough of Applejack's troops to, to hold for now as the Kurahe now is moving in. Jay is too far to really make an impact. Jay now coming in. A bit slow, it seems like. He can just come in, move, shoot a bit, and then come back, and just annoying that bat, and that bat comes with the J, wastes a bit of micro, and nothing happens. Combat now is in the open. Now this house is down, so no more sneaky, sneaky, cappy, cappy from behind the house. There's a few crater, one crater though. I think 76 mil is finally uh, going to try track this common. And the Shrek again <laughs> hasn't had much luck throughout the whole game. And probably won't have lack of small infantry comes in and the crew AA is here to just do a insta kill on it if it uh, gets spotted. MGs. Can't be cleared out for some reason with AA. Now that, that is coming in sooner than before and may take a shot. Oh, angled house stops it. Now crew AA is coming for more shots. And cheekily, oh, he's using this house still. Interesting angle on it though. Yeah, moving to a battle angle right now. While well, the 76 mil still does damage, turrets, turrets the crew AA, that J. And Comet uh, not responding yet. J is moving straight down the hill again just to knock a counter. This is pure positional play. It's just not, uh, no risk, <laughs> not too much risk going on right now. It's just uh, playing peekaboo shoots right now. They're both uh, moving pieces on the chessboard. It's like the. And the Queen right now is going for a 50-50 on Flapjack's Comet. It's been crew injured, tank crew. It's Tarot's facing the wrong way. Nat Nat, can he make this? This is going to change the game entirely. Oh, oh what a shot. What a shot. <laughs> and that's going to change the fortunes of Nat Nat. 41 to 46 kill counts. Jesus, 4,000 to 2,000 double right here. And our crew AA is a sitting duck and can't participate in the battle, but perhaps Flapperjack's Piat. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! He's returned the favor! But Nat Nat's lead is still very, very uh, high. He's got a lot of MP up his sleeve still. I think a lot more than Flapperjack. And uh, yeah, the, the exchange, I suppose, worked in Finnish favor. Comet's a bit more expensive, or quite a bit more expensive. It's 520 for the. J. I'm not sure the comet price in this mod. I think it's in the mid 700s, seven, seven, seven so 750 perhaps, 760. But uh, the assault, uh, regular squad here for the jack. Not going to have too much luck. I'm a sniper in the background, a lot of uh, SMGs out. Good SMGs too. Like a Capaccio Jaegers and the MGs of the, uh, the K Jaegers. No, I'm not going to stand any sort of chance since now being capped by Nat Nat. 41 46. Flapperjack in the lead, but I dare say not for long. This unit will continue to pound away, and uh, it's actually not in the top scorers, interestingly enough. But I think we'll eventually get there by the end of the game. A sniper. Starting its work. But now Crew AA, I guess, is uncontested, so attack needs to be bought, and it's been bought. T50. Good tank versus 20 mils is was a standard counter for Finland in 1v1s, 2v2 tournaments. 310 MP. It's got uh, great armor, in fact. You can see 37, 51 side, 51 turret. And it's angled, so 20 mil pretty much can't take it out. So it'd be dreaming, it'd be. Uh, ooh, that uh, icon there has been, should be grey. Tracked. It should be put away quite easily. Perhaps not. Missing like crazy. Jeez, 
and it's double tracked, so maybe it can't take it out. That'd be unfortunate for that now being stuck in that position, and now maybe a counter can be bought. But I doubt, uh, I doubt Flapperjack has money to get a tank after that comet. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Not looking good at all, isn't it? Flapperjack even capping this side. 47-46, what a, what a close game in terms of score counts. It hasn't been a fast-paced game. It's been pretty much action in the center, slowly capping the center, not risking too much, and then having a few best of tank tank kills. A bit of a awkward, uh, well, I guess you can say a tense moment where they both weren't uh, risking it. Just waiting with their big tanks in the background. The damage has been done. You can see the amount of uh, casualties the Finnish team are inflicting. They've got the units, the sniper, the artillery, and the infantry, I guess. <laughs> the superior infantry right now, and they're just going to make a toll on Flapperjack. If it just continues, the score difference will be, will be uh, going to nat nat exponentially. Nat nat 80 grenade. Let's see what this Finnish 80 grenade can do. Boom! <laughs> does it? Does take it out? Explodes it just to the side of it. And the three Cappy Cap is on, I think. And uh, he respond. What can Flapperjack respond with? Center is going to. I don't know. Don't see anyone in there. Don't see anyone in there. The part's going to. Nat Nat. No spawns yet from Flapperjack, interestingly enough. They're going to try and make a move on the east end. Nice move. We should definitely get it. Few of the K squad are not doing too much. They're not. Oh, they're actually in range now. Shooting down at these guys. That that once again punishing uh, the person who wants to take his flag. This is one guy just marking the grenade, just making sure he takes out as many as he can before he dies. T15 now fully repaired, completely repaired, as they say. And now he's going to try come and support the side. Artillery also is uh, sent here and will uh, do some decent work. Flapperjack now spreading out his forces a bit more. Artillery. Such a... Still not, top, still not in the top leaderboard though. Oh, the K-Squad guys are out of ammunition. Uh, but, uh, lots of guys on the outliers now. T-50 coming to support. Artillery is taking out the MG. And not looking good for Flapperjack at all. I think MP wise, he is in uh, dire straits. Is pretty much emptying his pockets right now, trying to find money in his back pockets. Militiamen from Flapperjack. Artillery. No go. What can Flapperjack do? Pretty much nothing, in my opinion. He could <laughs> come here, just get wiped. That guy can afford more elite infantry. This side, he'll get wiped. Sniper there. Plus a lot of good infantry. Centre, nothing to hide behind the cap. And he, lots of support, pretty much he can't do a, do a thing. He should just, uh, yeah, <laughs> to be honest, I just don't know what he can do right now. Let's see if I know that she can solve it this cap soon. This guy's doing quite well to hold the flag. Centre, lot of the UK guys. Sniper moved to a position where he can cover both legs. Artillery, shooting in the center. I think, uh, oh, look at that, the whole squad's just been taken out. I think it's going to be over shortly, to be honest. T-50 now coming to support. So now that uh, takes his revenge. So what does that mean to the tournament group be the group of death? He's uh, got a one-all versus Flapjack, one-all versus Godwin. Uh, Flapjack's got a three versus Pringles, a one versus Godwin, a one versus uh, Nat Nat. So Nat Nat does need a three, I guess, from somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Did uh, that, that play Pringles? I think he did actually. So I don't think. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't cast that one yet to the finish of the game. So we'll see. We will see. We will see. So three cap it is. Uh, 
No chance here. Sniper is going to take it out. 5,000 kills score-wise to 3,000 MP kills. J1500, Commando 720. Wow, he's got taken out two vehicles. Must have been two tanks and the buffers. So I think it's well down to Nat Nat pretty much. Viper Jack has stopped spawning. We're proving to be a tough competitor. But definitely proving this this group is a group of death. Everyone losing uh, losing a game versus each other almost. And yeah, it's just strange. Pringles lost to Flapper Jack, but Flapper <laughs> Pringles will beat other players in the group. Oh, it'll be interesting to see if Pringles doesn't get through. <laughs> it's just funny. He's also, he's always in the top uh, the top uh, few remaining. I don't know how it feels to be rusty. No spawns on Flapper Jack Circle. I'm going to call it a good game, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, can't wait to see the finals. I think uh, it's pretty much finished. I just need to cast a few extra games and we're going to jump into the bracket stages. It should get even more exciting and tough. There'll be uh, a lot of, lot of uh, close games, I think. So, good game.